over a year ago, I started this channel. Since then, I have covered a variety of games. Everything from the Sega Genesis to the Wii U, and tomorrow, the PlayStation 4. Uh, now, portable devices like the uh, 3DS, Game Boy Advance, and even my iPhone haven't been off limits. But the one thing that has always eluded me has unfortunately been computer footage. How embarrassing is that? It's, it gets even more embarrassing because of how easy it was. Download XSplit, hit Control Shift, record the footage. I can cover any game I want, and the game that I wanted to review for the longest time has always been Freddy Fish 3. God, it's so weird not being able to hold the copy. Uh, yeah, it's on Steam, let's go! Humongous Interactive. Either you know and love their games, or you weren't born in the 90s. I think almost all 90s kids had at least one game by Humongous Interactive. Um, Spy Fox, uh, Pajama Sam, Putt Putt, and for me, Freddy Fish. I picked up this game last Steam Summer Sale because nostalgia. So much nostalgia. I wanted to relive it and share it. And now that I can share it, well, let's hop on Pelican Airlines because we're going for a trip. So the game starts with Freddy and Luther going to the Founders Day Festival, but Luther's uncle, Uncle Lenny, is in jail. He was in charge of the Golden Conch, so he's the prime suspect for it. Wait, they threw Lenny in jail and... Oh, what? There is no reason to jail someone for that. If anybody should be in jail, it's this fake perp I made, Gil Murderface. Well, the point of this game is to go around the area and find three golden pipes so that Lenny's dog, Salty, can sniff out the perp. And how do we do this? By using objects on other objects. Freddy describes it best here. I'd better hold on to this. You just never know when a drain plug might come in handy. You pick up everything that isn't nailed down and use them to solve puzzles. That's the reason Humongous Interactive Games are so replayable. It's because, in this game at least, the pipes are always in different places. In this playthrough, there's one in the snappy clam, in these tubes, and one is being held by a blue-tailed joey bird. The first thing I like to do is reconnaissance. Go to every area, make a note of where the pipes are, and pick up everything that I can find. One thing that I found was a wallet that belonged to a narwhal. So I headed over to Nadine and gave her this. Her response was that she gave me one of her orange sea urchins. Sea ur urchins? Mouth of the sea urchin on the underside no, has no. five hollow teeth. Oh, no. Each of the tongue and sea urchins. Sea urchins do not have eyes. Okay, uh, what? Where was it? Oh, yes, um, uh, so, uh, I, uh, picked up the shovel here, and I headed over to this area for the thing I remember the most clearly from my childhood, the bands. If I click on these buttons, some fish will pop out and sing songs for me. I always remembered these guys and thinking that they were the coolest guys ever. Don't go sneaking around the ocean floor unless you want to with me. But now that I'm older, I am 100% sure these guys are awesome. Well, while I'm here, I decided to pop into the tube room, and it's here that I found the first easily accessible pipe. All I need to do is let Luther loosen the pipes, and he pops out with the first one I need. The next two involve a bit more of a scavenger hunt, so I take care of them both. For example, I take the sea urchin that Nadine gave me to Sam the Pelican, and he sells me a foreign language book. I then take that to Horse Feathers, the tourist, and ask if I can have his The Shim Sham Jimmy Jam Clapper Gapper that's in your bag. I think I may have needed to use the sensor bleep again. So I take that thing, and then I head over to the waterfall and have Luther get demolished by it. I did this just so I could hear one of my favorite lines, because, let's face it, although this game, for the most part, is pretty condescending to a 24-year-old, there are a few lines that I would consider really good writing. I'll show that waterfall who's boss. We already know that the waterfall is the boss. Maybe I could move the pipe with telekinesis. The raw power of my mind. Ooh. Ouch! This situation just cries out for a futile act of desperation. So does that mean we get 15% of all international and domestic sales? Hmm. No. So what 
I do here is I use the shovel to loosen the log and create a tunnel, and we find the blue-tailed joey bird. Then we spook it and it drops a feather, and we take it back to and exchange it for the roly poly egg. Swim back to the bird, give her the egg, and get the pipe. And then the egg hatches? I take serious issue with this, because if you put a live egg underwater for even a minute, the heat is going to get sapped so quickly and kill the bird. It ain't gonna hatch! Well, all that's left is to use the Shim Sham Jimmy Jam Clapper Gapper to hold the clam's mouth open long enough for Luther to grab the pipe. And then the clam snaps shut and swallows the contraption? Wait, where did it go? It doesn't have a stomach! Where did it go? Where is it? You know what? I, I don't even care. I don't even care. So with all that out of the way, I have all three pipes, and Salty traces the scent back to the ruins, and we go in and we see the perp escape. But Luther's greed gets the best of him, and he winds up in a prison. Well, that is unfortunate of him. So I would leave to let him rot. However, Freddy is a lot nicer than me, so I have to save and solve yet another puzzle. Grab a chisel, grab some gems, shine the gem, get the key, free Luther, return the gem, escape, yay! <laughs> After that, we go to the town square, just as an angry mob is getting ready to drag Uncle Lenny from his jail cell, tar and feather the guy, and then draw and quarter him right there. But we say that we found the conch, and a clue to tell us who done it. We have some thread. Okay, so now who here would use thread? Ah, uh, um, okay, ah, uh, yo, you know, oh, oh, okay, I think I've got it. It was Nadine! So that's Freddy Fish. Three, the edutainment game I played the most as a kid, and it's still fun today, although it's not quite as fun as other games I have access to. I can't really recommend it to anybody who doesn't have nostalgic ties to the game, but I would strongly recommend it to your kids. I know for a fact that I'm definitely going to introduce it to my offspring when I have them. If I have them. Good you got them. Take flight instant Mrs. Mooney and a pie shop. Do -do. Don't go sneaking around the ocean floor unless you want to mess with me. Don't go swimming too close to my door down in the deep blue sea. I'm a finny fish whose bite is worse than his bark will ever be. Don't go sneaking round the ocean floor unless you wanna mess with me.